Hi, my name is Natasha, and today, after getting a lot of requests from you guys and girls at home, I'm about to give you an online dating decoder for all those of you out there who want to find your very own Mr. or Miss Right. Now, in a world where you are ready to meet people or search for the one, there's a mixture of feelings. We all go through them. The idea of it can be exciting for some, scary for others, and really overwhelming for us too. You'll think, are there any good ones left? Will people be attracted to me? What will I say? What will I wear? How will I know who I should date? Now, I'm a person who genuinely trusts people and trusts what they say until I'm given a reason why I shouldn't. I tend to be quite optimistic and genuinely hopeful while still being a realist. And I still am that way. And I believe most people out there are decent human beings who just want to find someone. Don't get me wrong, there are some male and female toads out there too. Now, in my years of hearing from friends what it's like on the online market, key phrases seem to have arisen that can give you a clue as to a potential date's intentions. When someone writes in a profile, it's naturally to attract someone amazing, just like you at home, but also to let someone know what qualities are important to you. The same goes to emails or conversations in the beginning stages of talking to someone. Here are some clues that may help you figure out what a person's actually trying to say. Statement one, I want someone active. The definition being, I want someone hot. Statement two, I want an independent woman. Now the definition of that normally is, I don't want to support you. I quite like to be a kept man. I like this in theory. Or I don't want you to be too independent as that may make me feel insecure later on. Seriously. Statement three, the word technically. Now using this word in a profile or any form of communication whatsoever is a no-go. The definition being whatever is written after this word is normally a big fat porky, aka a lie. Statement four, it's complicated. Definition is I'm too weak to make a decision and I want my cake and eat it as well. So don't accept any form of commitment from me. The next statement is I'm very career orientated. Now the definition of this would be is all I want is a good time and my work will come ahead of you as an excuse for my bad behavior. So brace yourself ladies and gents because you are about to mess around. The next statement is I just don't think I'm good enough for you or in the reverse you are too good for me. The definition of this would be I need to shower me with reassurance. I do not see this working out as I have major commitment issues and need to run for the hills. The next statement is, I think you like so-and-so better than me. Now the definition of this is, I am needy. The best response to this is simple yes, and just run away from this creature unless it's said it's a genuine compliment. Now many of the statements I've just made are designed to manipulate a response from you. When you're looking at a profile or in the very early stages of getting to know someone, Always make sure to notice if this is happening. This is unacceptable and recognizing it is an easy way to avoid wasting your time and energy in the long run. Now, when you're looking for someone, look for someone who is straightforward, positive, and honest. If someone wants to manipulate a response from you, there isn't concern for sincerity, but for fulfilling expectation whether sincere or not. This should be a deal breaker, people. And the second time round, if you learn nothing else, you should learn that deal breakers should actually break the deal. Thanks for watching this video.